Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported <sighs> kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you're lying. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just let go. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. It's a bag with scrolls on it. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. No! Might as well enjoy the view of the tree. Trees. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh I don't air. believe him. Yes, it will do you good. Don't believe him at all. He's lying to me. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Nice Xbox. <laughs> I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Where are we going? You have an elevator? Okay. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So, I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. You no. liar. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a mm. feeling that everything yeah. revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Why are all the doors locked? We go this way, Alan. I wasn't yeah. ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's a nice maze. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind Wait trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist oh, me, but never mind, there is a third floor. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in no, your mind? No, you sound insane. You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be oh. explained logically. Can I just kill you now? Very nice lodge. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, mm. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. It's death, well, it's coming. Better. Run. This way. Follow me. Run away. Let me in. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? You're it's lying to me. for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. After all, Hartman I'm the obviously one trying loved to bring his own you voice. Out of the world his words echoed madly himself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. <laughs> well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. So I... You were impressed by my trophies when you first scary, arrived here. Scary, I do scary, scary. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Emerson. I got you. I'm a real bad dream, oh. mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me Keep to go you're crazy away so you to yourself. Be scared. But you that's can't just what decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, ah, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small to the head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. What does she do? Doors open. Hmm. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. Please. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Good. Come, Alan. This way. Now. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. So self-absorbed. My rheumatism's killing me! There's a storm coming! Oh! What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. 
They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left I already its met mark. them. At the diner. They seem pretty cool. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me, about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Bad dream, and you can't hell? wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all... He couch flipped. Hey Sinclair, Dr. Hartman was worried about the power again. He's checking on it now. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, the power the right there. Something I may need wrong. a hand here later on, Bert. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. That there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. You are. I'm pretty sure the generator is right there. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. The hell? You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. I'm already here. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> my hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. That does not sound good. You're the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. Are we? Page. Well, I almost missed that. <laughs> Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old the fart hit her hard. Is all if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had to come. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken come all on, my manuscript pages. Music, right. That's where he'd be keeping them. pay the piper! Maybe you could come out and beat our wiggle adult diaper asses, Bert. 
to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me- oh, Well, I cut that off, sorry. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. The darkness. ball. Come on. Break open the door for me. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Go. Why is that locked? Give me the light! 
right.